is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our WWE Hell in a Cell 2020 predictions for you guys. On this show, we only have five matches announced at time of recording. If there are any more matches announced for the show, I will pin them down in the comment section for you guys to check out my thoughts and opinions. So, I'm sure they're going to add two or three more matches, whether they be pre-show or, you know, undercard type matches. I'm pretty sure that will be the case. But diving into this show, guys, Hell in a Cell, you know, they got to do it for October. And, and Halloween. They love to do the little gimmick style stuff. I wish they would bring back Halloween Havoc or something. That would be much better or something. Uh, and, and I don't like how we just automatically have a pay-per-view revolving around a stipulation every single time of the year. I think Hell in a Cell matches need to be called upon for feuds and blowing off feuds and not just some gimmick thing that we plug in here. I feel like the Royal Rumble works okay for that. I like the idea of the Elimination Chamber. You know, you, that's the last stop before WrestleMania. I kind of like that aspect. But for Hell in a Cell and other things, I don't know. And it, it pretty much kind of does dull, dull down the Elimination Chamber as well, but there are three Hell in a Cell matches on this car, which is absolutely freaking insane. We have an I Quit Hell in a Cell match, which I'm looking forward to, and not, not a ton of matches on this card, like I said, but maybe they will add some more to it, and maybe it will be an enjoyable show. I'm enjoying both our champions right now. I'm intrigued by some stuff going on, so I am absolutely excited for the show. We're going to see if it lives up to the hype, guys, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my predictions here today on this show let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on the feuds coming in, what I expect out of the match, who I think is going to win, where we go from here, and see if any of that ish comes true on Sunday night. So let's shut the hell up and dive into Hell in a Cell 2020, and let's give you my predictions. So diving in first, guys, we have our only non-stipulation matchup on the card, which uh, announced so far, you know, things could change. But right now, we have Jeff Hardy versus Elias coming into this. This feud is, of course, stemming back to uh, the drunk driving storyline with Sheamus and Jeff Hardy when Elias got hit. You know, it wrote him off television there for a little bit. Now he has come back. I do like the long-term storytelling that we get with this, but I feel like both guys are kind of in a must-win situation. You know, Elias coming back, this is a very big matchup for this guy, so I I want to say that Elias is going to win because of that, but I really want to see Jeff Hardy win because I feel like he needs it, needs to continue on that string of momentum. I said he should probably even get a WWE Championship opportunity going into the Royal Rumble, I think is what I said, to have Jeff Hardy lined up for a championship match, but I don't know. But anyways, I, God, this one's tough to call, but since Elias is returning right here, it would make him look really terrible if he were to, re if he were to lose in this return matchup, so I am going to go with Elias, even though I'm going to be rooting for my man Jeff Hardy here. I still think Elias is going to win. Maybe it'll be, you know, an unclean... Maybe it won't be a clean victory, but nonetheless, I am going to go with Elias to win, and that's literally the only reason why. I could see, you know, the ref getting distracted and Elias busted him over the skull with a with a guitar, making this feud last longer. We're de This definitely will not be the last match we see between these two, so I'm going to go with Elias for, for, for the freaking win, man. Next up, guys, we have our singles matchup for the Money in the Bank contract. Just like a championship match, the Money in the Bank contract is on the line in this matchup between Otis, who is the Money in the Bank contract holder, taking on The Miz. And I actually like the way the storyline came about. I am enjoying what we got so far. And, you know, they have decided that, you know, Otis is going to be putting his contract on the line versus The Miz at Hell in a Cell. And, you know, it's been on the grapevine for a while. I feel like rumor mills and rumor websites and everybody has been reporting and, you know, all the leaks have been coming out saying that Otis was going to, you know, give up the contract or lose the contract in a match. And here we are. Here it is in our face. The Miz battling for the Money in the Bank contract. I think The Miz is going to pin and win the contract and uh, he will eventually cash that thing in. Maybe that's how, you know, uh, Drew McIntyre ends up losing the championship. Maybe he's uh, incapacitated. Maybe after this insane Hell in a Cell matchup, maybe he could end up losing. Miz becomes WWE champion. Going into the Royal Rumble, maybe he's still champion and that's how Jeff Hardy gets his opportunity there at The Miz. I don't know, I'm just fantasy booking right off the top of my skull. And then maybe none of that happens. Maybe Otis does retain, but I am going to say that The Miz will win the Money in the Bank contract here, and then I don't know when he'll cash in. I, I couldn't tell you, but I would imagine that it would be before. It would definitely, he will definitely not be the champion going into WrestleMania when it is time, so he will definitely lose it by, by the time we get around there, but I absolutely see The Miz winning and getting the contract and uh, kind of revitalizing 
in himself. I feel like he has not been the same ever since his feud with Shane McMahon. I feel like The Miz has been really watered down. That babyface run he had was terrible with his father getting in the ring and being memed to death on the internet. Just not good stuff, man. I, I think The Miz needs to get back to his heelish ways. We need him to be the prick Miz, get the money in the bank, and, and have a great run here at the end of 2020. So I'm going to go with The Miz to capture that money in the bank contract and see what the hell he can do with it. Next up, we have the first of our three Hell in a Cell matches on the night at Hell in a Cell 2020. First up is the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Bayley and Sasha Banks, and this is a matchup that I am very much looking forward to. I feel like we have been waiting on this culmination of the feud in this Hell in a Cell matchup forever. It seems like these two have been, you know, friends and enemies and breaking up and then wanting to kill each other and then back to friends and tag champs and double champions and all this crazy stuff to finally lead us to this matchup here which I am very excited for. I'm pretty sure, wasn't it Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch that had the insane Hell in a Cell matchup last year, which was one of my favorite matches of the year? It was incredible. I loved that match. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. If we get just a fraction of what those two did, this will live up to the hype. I am very excited for this matchup. I cannot wait to see how we get it squared off. But I think Sasha Banks is going to end the streak of Bayley here at Hell in a Cell, capture the SmackDown Women's Championship. I would love to see it take place, and I'm just going to say it takes place. Maybe it gets extended a little bit longer. I'm sure this won't be the last matchup between the two, but I am going to go with Sasha Banks to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. Just feels right, you know? Just feels right right here. Uh, I can't wait to see what we get. Again, I think the, the matchup between Sasha and Becky was super creative, so I think that we're definitely going to get a creative matchup. I love when WWE puts Sasha Banks in these Hell in a Cell matches. She always delivers, so I am hyped. She was a part of the first one with Charlotte, if I if my memory serves me correct, and uh, she had a fantastic one with Becky again, like I said, and so I think Sasha could put on a damn good football game right here. I'm going to go with her winning and capturing the SmackDown Women's Championship in what I hope is going to be a fantastic bout between these two ladies. Next up is Hell in a Cell match number two for the WWE Championship, and it is going to be the champion Drew McIntyre defending against Randy Orton. I feel like I've seen this match a hundred times. I don't know why. I feel like I've seen it a hundred times. I thought that the ambulance match that we got at Clash of Champions was a great blow-off to the feud. You could have written Randy Orton off TV. I thought that's what we were going to get here, and I see a lot of people predicting that Randy Orton is going to win the WWE Championship. Now, I feel like if they were going to do that, it would have been in the ambulance match. I feel like that was a great way to do it. Drew McIntyre wouldn't have been pinned. You could have done a lot better things there. So if they put the title on Randy Orton right here, I would I would be totally baffled. I just do not see that taking place right here. Even though, I, I mean, I, I'd be okay with it, I guess. Um, I still stand by what I always say in these predictions videos, at least through 2020, is that I don't think Drew McIntyre is losing the championship until we get somewhat of a crowd in person. Don't think that's going to happen just yet. So I feel like... Like, uh, yeah, Randy Orton is not going to win this matchup. I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre to retain the WWE Championship. And uh, I, I could see it going the other way, but I don't know, man. I feel like they would have pulled the trigger last month if that were going to be the case here. So really difficult to say, but I think Drew McIntyre is going to retain. So I am going to predict that, but I hope we just get a great matchup. Again, with three Hell in a Cell matches, going to be really hard to keep it fresh and ideal. Hopefully this isn't the same as Bayley and Sasha. Hopefully it differs from Roman and Jey Uso. So I don't know, man. I hope we get a good football game. I hope it's not boring. I hope it's intense. I hope they, these guys bring it and bring something creative and fresh to the table. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre to retain for sure. And for the main event, guys, we have the first ever I Quit Hell in a Cell matchup for the Universal Championship, or the Blue Universal Championship, as I like to call it. We have Roman Reigns taking on Jey Uso, and of course, Paul Heyman will be down there. I'm sure Jimmy will get a taste of it, but uh, I am digging the way this thing is gone. I love the way Roman Reigns looks. I, I'm loving the new character. I'm loving Paul Heyman by his side. I, I love the bloodline that we got teasing, fuming around right now. I love Jey Uso in his role. I like Jimmy. I, I like it all, man. I love what we got going on right here and I hope that we get a good payoff in this matchup. Again, I hope it's a fresh matchup. I am looking forward to this match a ton. And uh, again, this will be the third Hell in a Cell matchup. So again, I hope we're not just sitting there just ready to pass away. I hope we're not just sitting there rotting on our couches by the end of this show like Jesus Christ. I hope, again, they keep us engaged. They keep us flowing with it. They don't put us to sleep. We're not sitting there like, God dang, I'm ready for this show to be over. Hopefully they keep it fresh. Hopefully it's intense. And I cannot wait to see how we get 
this. You know, their matchup at Clash of Champions was off the chain. I loved it. I thought it was great. Hopefully, we can keep that same energy going, going into Hell in a Cell. And, you know, hopefully, we just get a good payoff, man. I absolutely 100% expect Roman Reigns to retain the Universal Championship. No reason for him to lose it. Just doesn't make sense. He's super hot fire right now. Need to keep that going. Whether, uh, I, don't, I don't care. I just, I want to see Roman Reigns continue. I'm digging everything he's doing. I, every time he speaks, every time he's on television, my eyes are glued to it, and I think that's what you want in your champion. There's no way that he's losing. I'm going with Roman Reigns to retain his Blue Universal Championship, and I think that is the best case scenario here, and I think it makes the most sense. I think Jay's going to do great in his role, and I expect a very powerful story being told in this match, but Roman Reigns will retain, and that is it for your Hell in a Cell predictions. I mean, uh, the, the five, card, five matches on the card, again, if they announce any more, I will definitely let you guys know and pin my predictions for those matchups down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, guys, I do have to get into my shout out from yesterday's video. Again, if you guys want to potentially get a shout out in a future video, comment down below right now and leave me a like so that, uh, you know, we get it going. So speaking of predictions for Hell in a Cell, a huge shout out to JSMW Wrestling for this comment on our last video. He said, I think Roman will win by handcuffing Jay and then beating up Jimmy until Jay quits. That's beautiful fantasy booking, man. That is excellent. That's the reason I hearted this comment. That is uh, genius. I, I like that. I think I could absolutely see that taking place. And so uh, I think that'd be uh, that'd be great. That'd be absolutely terrific. Huge shout out to you again for that idea and that comment. Thank you so much, bro. And I think that, yeah, that would be fantastic. I could totally see that taking place. And hopefully we get some of that, man. I just want a, a good story. I want a good, intense matchup. But again, if you guys would like a shout out in a future video, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Leave a like and potentially you could get shouted out in a future video. But thank you guys for watching. That does it for my Hell in a Cell predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your predictions down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.